Hello, Internet. I'm going to try to... I keep getting interrupted. Um, I've got to put some new leaf springs on this trailer, and I'll show you why. And this trailer comes with a story I'm going to tell you. I built this trailer a long, long time ago. It used to be a, uh, a boat trailer, and it belongs to my father. It's got some issues broken so it belongs to my father I'm gonna try to get you set up here because I got a little story I want to tell hope that's right should be right okay um, I have an old brother who's 15 years older than me 15 months older than me and we were both adopted from birth uh, Catholic Children's Charities in Houston, Texas, and oh gosh, um, we are not blood brothers, but he's my brother. Get me wrong. Uh, my mom was married to a, a fella that adopted us. They both adopted. My mom couldn't have kids, so they adopted two. They were we were supposed to have three. There's supposed to be a girl coming along too, but. Once my folks got me, they said, nah, we're done. That's it. We're out. So, I guess they got a divorce. He worked offshore. He did what he could. They got a divorce. I don't really remember that. All I remember is him picking us up, you know, for the weekend visits and stuff when he was in an apartment. He did the best he could. But mom ended up, she was a very attractive nurse, Italian she had two kids, me and my brother, and I couldn't imagine, couldn't even imagine um, adopting two kids. We were eight and nine, and a um, guy by the name of George Bean married my mom and adopted me and my brother and um, gave us his last name. That's why I... I have so much respect for the Bean last name because uh, of what he did. I respect him so much. So this goes down to, this is my dad's trailer and my dad says he needs something done. You just hop on it. You hop on it and do it with a smile and do anything for it. Uh, he recently sold his house here in Broken Arrow Ooh, that's pretty. And um, uh, moved to the lake, got him a little lake place out there. So he's been using the trailer, moving debris and all that stuff around. And I think he's been overloading it by the looks of things. These are so hard to get on sometimes. Snap. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm gonna put some new leaf springs on the trailer and there's a little background about me. Uh, we moved to Arkansas. He bought a chicken farm. We were chicken farmers before we came to Tulsa. But um, I couldn't imagine now day and age marrying a woman that had two kids driving around a little light blue Volkswagen Beetle. Um, wow. It's just respect, just respect. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna get the fork truck and I'm gonna jack that up, put it on my jack stands, take the wheels off, take the old axle out, cut off the old leaf springs, make sure there's a good mount, leaf spring mount on there and weld it back. Man, look how much I'm sweating already. Usually I would be in there in the machine shop, but I finished those robot tips yesterday, so um, I'm ready to go. These get so nasty, you just, you can't clean them. You just gotta throw them away. They're not really scratched. They get, they get a, a brown, brown haze to them. But uh, this shouldn't be that big a deal. Crawl on the ground a little bit. Uh, 
just wanted to uh, a little background history about me and and where I come from. I don't know where I got the I got the machining bug from my uncle, my mom's sister's husband was a tool and die maker in uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Dick Westfall, Richard Westfall. And um, I just remember going to visiting one time and seeing him in his little basement machine shop. He was making baseball bats on my, his, my South Bend lane. And just that smell, the smell of the cutting oil and the, his little machine shop. That pretty much did it for me. But uh, anyways, a little short one. I know someone's going to walk in that door in a minute and interrupt me. Um, it's been a little busy. Hadn't got a lot. Just going to finish this and then go in my office, tippy tap, and soak up some air sea. And uh, I've got some drawing to do, some drawings to do. So hopefully I can get out of this heat after a while. I will see you next time. Oh, yep, here we go. We got delivery coming up for those robot welder tips. Gotta go.